Here's another radio we'll have a quick look at tonight. And this, for a little portable radio, is probably a firm favourite of mine. Uh, this is the D-Gen DE1103. Came out in a whole series of different names, the Kato or Eton or that sort of stuff. Um, however, uh, this D-Gen is the, uh, the parent company for this particular radio. Uh, you would believe it. Radio New Zealand International is about to close on this frequency. So uh, we might have to retune it. Anyway, this is this is a uh, particularly nice radio, a very very sensitive radio, both on uh, medium wave and short wave, and um, does a particularly good job of itself on um, on FM as well. Now, a lot of people uh, had uh, sort of mixed feelings about the radio. They didn't like the ergonomics of it. But in actual fact, it's a very, very simple radio to uh, to use. And uh, you've just got uh, up the top here, you've got uh, some memory functions there, and uh, you've got also, you notice there, a volume control. Now it's very simple to use, you just press the volume control, then you use your tuning button, uh, your tuning control over here and uh, that actually does uh, the uh, uh, the volume yeah with with the um, keypad you'll see it's just in straight line format and uh, all you do is type in the frequency you want and then if you're on the AM band you just press the here on this side which is the the band up button and that takes you straight to the frequency that you've uh, allocated. If you're on FM, again you just type the frequency you want and you type and uh, hit the band down button and that will take you to the particular FM frequency that you want there. Um, very very good single sideband capability on it and uh, I really do like that function and on the side here uh, you have a wide narrow bandwidth and um, you've also got a lock, uh, sorry not a lock, a light uh, which you can turn the, the uh, dial light on and off and uh, you've got a fine tuning control uh, for your BFO. Now, This side of the radio, you've got an RF, uh, you've got an attenuator um, for DX and uh, local. Uh, you've got external antenna connection. Uh, you've got earphone socket, and you've got a uh, your um, your fairly standard um, uh, DC input. On the back, uh, you've also got. Uh, battery compartment and a tilt bale on the back. Now I understand this particular radio has just been re-released uh, in a, as a DSP upgrade uh, with mixed results. Uh, I, uh, from what I can gather from many forums, uh, that the um, that the original version of the 1103 is the one to get. Um, you can see down, sort of further on down here, just getting back the features, you've got an on off switch there, uh, you've got a whole button which basically locks the, the frequencies, and you can, you've got your time uh, button there uh, that you can set your time with, and then as I said earlier, you've got band up and band down buttons. Now, um, very simple to operate, um, say for example, you just tune up, just jump up, and here we have uh, Radio New Zealand International again on 13840. Um, now a lot of people have said that the uh, the display is a bit over the top, doesn't really show you that much. Uh, you do have the frequency, of course. You do have a fairly good um, 
um, sort of um, signal strength indication there. And um, you've got volume and, uh, you know, and it has a sort of a pseudo um, analogue dial arrangement that slips up and down uh, the, uh, the display when you're tuning around. Now, some people have also said that it only tunes uh, the, uh, those particular short wave bands, which is incorrect. Um, all you need to do, say if you want to go to the 120 metre band, is type in uh, a frequency in the 120 metre band, and as, as I said there, the band plus button, and it'll take you to 120 metres. Likewise, if you want to go and listen to, say, the CB up on 27 meg, uh, again, you type in say 27 megahertz, and uh, again the band up button, and it'll take you to uh, uh, 27 megahertz. Now these, uh, as I said, these radios are particularly good, um, and uh, if you're in the, uh, uh, if you're looking out for one of these, uh, for what I understand, do go the earlier model. Um, is the one to get. I must admit I haven't had the opportunity to try the DSP version of this radio so uh, I can't comment much uh, apart from what I've uh, read so uh, but anyway there we go. So as I say you can just slip down the frequencies there and um, there's um, ABC from Alice Springs and away we go. So it's a, a great radio. All right, there's another quick one for tonight. Um, actually, what I'll do is, if I could, I'm try, trying to see this through the uh, uh, the screen on the on the phone here. There we go. Swapping to the narrower bandwidth uh, gets rid of that um, uh, sort of the, uh, the noise associated with the frequency. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed that brief presentation of the DGEN DE1103. Probably one of the best, I would be happy to say, one of the best uh, portable shortwave uh, radios, little shortwave radios that has ever come out onto the market. Cheers all. Yeah, I'm just trying to turn this phone off.